Welcome back to Cloud Punk. We gotta pick up a drive converter. Which is over yonder. I wonder if I, um... This is a little alley here. Oh. I wonder... Ah, I lost my train of thought. Well, that was quick. Oh, and that's right. I wanted to stop by an upgrade machine for my vehicle. So this episode, we'll, we'll try to get that done. Let's hop over on the expressway. Here we go. We'll stop right here. Fix all damage to my vehicle, sure. So this is the same stuff. Um, I can afford use E to activate while driving. Oh, so it's not like a permanent thing, it's just a boost. I can afford that though. I'm doing it. I didn't mean to do that. All right, so we're faster now. Let's test this bad boy out. Oh, wow. So... Oh, it is? Oh, I'm passing right by it. Wait a minute. Is that where I'm going anyways? That's funny. So, the boost was, like, permanent. I didn't see any kind of, um, gauge or anything where it runs out, at least temporarily. It looks like it's... It happens as long as you're pressing it. I'm here to collect a driver converter. Drive converter? Sure. You don't know what it is, do you? Nope. I don't need to, guy. It regulates the hydraulic output of the water tanks. It wears out fast, but without it, you got no grab lift. The sump builds up residue from the runoff because we got no clean water down here no more. Only the fancy overcloud hovas can run without a drive converter because they use pure H2O. Fancy. You're not listening, are you? I think they need this pretty quickly. You're right, they do. You better get going. Okay. What do they do with it when they get it? Well, now I got They questions. don't mess around with it. That's the main thing they do or don't do. Once they stick the drive converter in the universal maintenance slot under the passenger seat, the servitors will fit it in on the fly. Unless they've got an old manual, in which case, you know what? What? Never mind. I know you're not interested. I'll let you go. See you around, kid. That, that was a really awkward conversation. Okay. Easy peasy. Whoa, sorry. Beg your pardon. Yeah, see, this speed is more like it. I feel better going around. That was well worth the price. And I can use it while not in the expressway. Oh, Where I just passed right slow by. Joe? Are you part of the race? I've got a drive converter for him. They went already. I'm the start line. Can I head them off? I'm really just here to wave them off, miss. Damn it. Control, are you on the comm? What do I do? The race has already started. I'm here. Joe won't get far without that part. I'm giving you a nav point. Uh-oh. Seems like he might have broken down already. Seriously? You have to complete this job. Remember what we told you when you signed up? No failures. Oh, oh about boy. that part, he's not even going to be able to land safely. Get to him as fast as you can. I'm not much of a racer. I'll try. Wait a minute! You can do this, kid. Remember, straight roads are for fast cars, but the city is for fast drivers. So... Where is this? Oh, God. So what's a little awkward about driving in this game is it seems to always be moving forward. Um, wait, I, I... I can't go up. I can't go up. 
What do I do? Did I have something above me, I guess? I guess. I don't know. Where's this guy at? Where's this guy at? I feel like if he's broken down and he can't land, he wouldn't be here. He's got to be in the air, right? <clears throat> like right here? Sorry. Um, okay, well, how do I park? I'm supposed to park down there, aren't I? I think find my way up here. Oh boy. So there is an elevator of sorts somewhere then, I'm assuming. A cassette tape? I don't see an elevator over there. Elevators are usually pink, right? I see like no pink around here. There's pink on the other side. Maybe I can get to it from here also. What's back there? How do I get in there? Hopefully there is a pathway going across. I'm hoping. God, never slow Joe's gonna lose, isn't he? And it's going to be all my fault. What is... Garble? What is... What's going on there? You or anyone you know has augmented infected by the virus Druid 2.0. You must inform CorpSec immediately for mandatory surgical firmware reset. There's a virus going around? That seems... Unpleasant. There he is. What's up, guy? Are you never slow, Joe? No, I am currently very slow, Joe. You got my converter? He sounds like Dispatch. Yeah. Thanks, Cloudpunk. I'm gonna give you this old one. It's busted, but if you get it back to Emmett, he can fix it up and sell it on for a good handful of limbs. These converters are worth a lot of money? Well, they sure are. I owe Emmett, so you make sure it gets back to him safe, you hear? Without the trade-in value in that busted converter, I wouldn't be able to afford this repair. My racing days would be over. Early retirement. I'd go mad. I'll get it back to Emmett. Thanks, Cloudpunk. Yeah, I can't believe you drive around the city in that piece of junk. What? You're How does he even know what I'm driving? Kid. What do they call you? Rania. Nah, that's no good. My name's no good? What do you suggest? On the run, Rania. What do you think? Uh, I like it. No, I don't. All right, on the run, Rania. I gotta go. I've got a race to win. I'll see you around. I don't like it, though. What is this? What is this icon? Is that below me? That's one thing that's difficult in this game, because it, it has this verticality. The icons, you can't really tell where they are. I can't just... I am back. Uh-oh. Did you hear all of that? On the run, Rania? I don't like it. Neither do I. He's a racer, not a poet, Camus. I wasn't. Are you spot. going to take the old part back to the mechanic man? I'm not sure. If I sold it, I'd make a lot of limbs quick. Won't you get in trouble? I don't think so. The races are illegal and dangerous. Joe is an old man. Maybe it would be safer if he retired. If I give this part back to Emmett to settle his old debts, he'll keep racing. So, are you going to sell the part at some other mechanic man? 
or take it to the Mr. Emmett Mechanic Man. All right, this is silly. I, I literally can't walk by this guy. You from the East, lady? You're good. Yeah, I don't care about any of these things. Thanks. You folks from the East. All right, please give, get off the walkway. The walkway shouldn't be one wide. You shouldn't be able to get blocked in the walkway like that. I don't like that. Oh god, that was close. I almost got trapped. So, I have a choice. I can either sell this... Who's this guy? Have I talked to him before? Hey, Tico, right? Did you have any luck finding... Nari? No. I don't know what to do. When did you last see her? I don't know how to answer that question. Months? Years? Uh... You don't know? So where did you last see her? Back in Tokyo, during the Sakura. We had a picnic in the park. Tokyo? Sorry, I don't know the city very well. Is that below Midtown? It is a different city. You mean like a different district? When I last saw her, it was not in Nivellis. Sorry, Tico. I think you might be getting confused. There is only Nivalis. Everything west is just townships and settlements. There are no more cities. This is it. Interesting. We together. I've known her since I was 13. Tico, that must have been a very long time ago. I don't really understand when people talk like that. You don't understand what? Time? When people say the feelings are from long ago. They don't change. The people you cared about when you were young, have those feelings gone away? I guess not, but some of them aren't around to love anymore. I don't understand. We sat under the cherry blossoms. She ate fresh strawberries, and we watched the sun rise together every day through the summer. Then one day the sun rose, and it was too bright. Far too bright. Her family said they would have to move away. I think your memories go back very far, Tico. Nari and I grew up together, even after the big sunrise when she moved away. All I wanted was to see her again. When she left, it was like I didn't exist anymore. When she moved to Tokyo, we would see each other less and less often. Then, one day, it is not fair. I moved here from far away too. I know how you feel. Are you alone here too? Not quite. I have one friend. Maybe two. I have to keep looking for Nari. She might be looking for me too. Where will you go next? I have heard people live in the thermal vents where they use the steam to stay alive. I will look for Nari there. She always liked the bathhouses. That sounds like a good plan. Do you think the vents will be like the bathhouses back in our village? I don't think so, Tico. But you never know. So... <laughs> Rania doesn't know about Tokyo, which isn't exactly a small city. Um, I find this I find this specific story a little weird. Like the last time this guy saw her was in Tokyo, and next thing you know, he's here asking where she is, like asking some random stranger where she is. I don't know. Maybe we'll find out. There's where the race began. I am... Uh, so our choice, we, we can sell it or we can bring it back to Emmett. I'm gonna... I feel like I'm gonna bring it back to Emmett. Oh, wait. Emmett's right here. Hello, sir. Hey, do you buy these? It's a drive converter. I don't need it. Wait, what? Well, sure. I'll give you a good price, lady. Oh, and it's uh, the orange one. All right. Oh. We are supposed to pay off Joe's debt. You gave the part to the wrong mechanic man. My bad. We got paid for it, and now Joe will stop racing. Oof. Did you do it to help Joe? Oof. I did it to help all three of us. Uh, so, what I think should have 
happened. Um, throughout the game so far, the green square has been like the primary decision, right? And the other color, orange or whatever, blue, was always the secondary option. And I kind of I found out more about Cora. Okay. It's very confusing. Hold on to it for now. I've got something I've got to do. <gasps> Another job? No. If you're about to give me a headache worth of data, I need a coffee first. Okay, get myself a coffee. So, what I was saying is, what I... I kind of approached it as returning it is the primary thing I'm supposed to do, right? That's what they told me to do. I take it back to the guy that's the mission. However, alternatively, I could sell it for money. And so that's how my brain processed that. And uh, because I wasn't paying full attention, I I went to the secondary instead because of the color. What I think they should do... Well, first of all, I think it should have been swapped. But alternatively, I think there should have been a yes or no option. Like, are you sure you want to do this? You know, sell for 500, click yes or no at the end of that conversation. I think that's what should have happened. Um, but whatever. No big deal. I've got 500 bucks. I know, I know that'll eventually come back to bite me, but whatever. Now we're traveling a long way for a coffee. Oh god, and wrecking my vehicle. Oh, I don't even have to hold down the boost. I just press it once and it lasts a while. Okay. Oh god, so many cars. Dodging so many cars. So we're going to Old Town now. Have I been to Old Town? I don't know. I haven't paid attention to those signs when I take these elevators. Sake. Look at how gray this is. <laughs> the waterworks. I'm hitting everything. There's the coffee guy. Alright, where's parking at? All the footsteps. Oh, look at this! I love the way it looks! Am I blind? I love the train, too. I, I wonder if we get to upgrade our vehicle at some point. Ooh. Only Unibozu Resort can't talk to can take you there. Unibozu Resort, better than real. So we're at the very bottom of the city. This is where all the riffraff live. Hey, come here a minute. I'm busy. Wait, I, I just want to talk. You're not from around here, I can tell. Because of my dark, exotic eyes, right? Give me a break. No, because you obviously don't realize who I am. When someone around here gets my attention, they're flattered. You're right. I don't know who you are. Let me finish my coffee in peace, please. I'm Dynamite Simpson. Even if you haven't heard of me, you'll have heard one of my music projects for sure. If you say so. Look, I'm in need of some authentic Eastern fashions for my next music video. I see that embroidery on your sleeve. Eastern Peninsula, right? You're a music video director? I'm a record exec, video director, entrepreneur, guitar player, social media hub, brand construction technician. Oh god. And you want my sleeve? Not exactly. I'd like to use the floral design in the background for my next music video. Sell them the rights! Much as your cultural appropriation of my favorite cardigan sounds tempting. Tell me a little more about your people. I really don't feel like it. I bet your people enjoy my music, even there, beyond the city. I don't think we do. 
Ah, uh, perhaps playing my music requires technology beyond your means. Damn! We're not savages. We're farmers. And we have our own music. Your own music? Your own fashion? How novel. I must learn more. How could I learn about your people's music? Did you grow up playing tribal drums? What? I grew <laughs> up playing Bach. So you're a musician. Not anymore. I have a flute. Shooting begins in five minutes. I'll learn more about your music, but for now, can I take a photo of that design? No. If you pay me. Yeah, there we go. Perhaps if you tell me more, what does the pattern mean? It's a catapult for my people. It's a gift mothers give their daughters to protect them. From? Predatory men. <laughs> really? This will be perfect in Dolly's next video. I have one in my pocket. I brought it from home. It's dried. Really? Might I have it? Show me the limbs. Here, take them. You would really allow me to have this. Sell your cultural gift from your mother? Sure, I gotta eat. Excellent. I think this will look fantastic in Dolly's hair in the music video. Pleasure doing business with you. I must go, but we might speak again. Goodbye. I think I just scammed him. <laughs> I have a feeling that's not from my mother. Okay. Oh no, your mother's flower. You gave it away. No, nope, we scammed them. Mom didn't give that to me. I found it growing near a sewage plant. Uh -huh. I used it as a bookmark. Does it really protect women from predatory men? It's just a dead flower, Camus. A remote detonator? Wait, what? What? You're just gonna casually toss me a remote detonator? Um... Wait. It's not in my inventory. Am I crazy? Or is that the item I was supposed to pick up? Bring the suspicious item to corpse sec. Okay. Um... I don't know if I should do that. Can I look at... Is there a way to look at my... Quests? I don't think so. Um, alright, well, what's through here? Exactly where I need to go. I saw you looking at me from over there. I was just going to ask if this was the only coffee place in the zone. I'm from out of town, and this coffee is... Like hova oil? Well, I was going to say it's below average, but yeah. No, this is the only place. I've been coming here since I was in my teens. You look like you're still in your teens. It's the coffee. It's done in my growth. <laughs> so, you're actually... 75. Well, Grandpa, it was nice to meet you. Uh, hey, uh, wait up. What's your name? I'm Rania. I drive deliveries. And I've got another job coming up, so... Do you... Uh, wanna do something? Are you asking me on a date? No, I mean, all right, we could just do something and see what happens. Do something. How specific? We could... Come on, coffee guy. What could we do? Bowling. Ew. Shooting? I know a range downtown. It lets you fire the big pulse rifles. Don't go bowling when there's a virus I don't around. Like pulse rifles or any guns, really. They tend to get aimed at people a lot. We only shoot targets. I believe the humans and the targets can coexist peacefully. Uh, what about pizza? Better. What kind? Artichoke and avo? From the new hipster place uptown. Oof. Ooh, a swing and a miss. Sorry, coffee guy. Maybe some other time. If I see you here again, I'll have thought of something you like, Rania. We'll see. Uh, okay. Maybe a little weird. But whatever. Danya, whoever this may be. Excuse me, I see you sell old stuff. Do you know what this is? Boss it here. Let's see. Hmm. Oh my. What is it? I thought maybe an old music storage. Music? No, not at all. This is a game. It's like Commodore. That. Where did you find it? Huh? Actually, it was near some trash. No, I don't believe it. So it's an antique. Oh, yes. This was played on a Spectrum home computer. You needed an interface to make the joystick work. Kempstern or Protec. Otherwise, you had to play on the rubber keys. Even the words I understood in that sentence didn't make sense. <laughs> it's like this, you see. You put this tape into a tape recorder first and... Nope. Still no clue. 
Long ago, information was stored on magnetic tapes. You see the strips here? These wound round playheads or something like that. No one knows exactly how it operated now. But we can feed this into our comprehender and it gives us executable code. So this was a game people played on a screen? Oh yes, it would take a long time to upload the data to memory. And the executable data itself is tiny. It's hard to comprehend how our progenitors managed to work within such strict memory constraints. You're really into this stuff, aren't you? I'm interested in the technology, sure. But what really fascinates me is this game. You controlled a little sprite. You walked along a street and you punched everyone you came across. We believe these old games were deeply symbolic, like Sisyphus with the rock. So they were morality lessons? We collectors believe so. I think every one of these classic games can teach us a lesson. What did punching people in the street teach us? Metaphorically, it is telling us that we cannot simply fight urban decay through physical force. You see, in this game, when you win, you start again. So the cycle repeats. Exactly. So through the game, we learn that the violence is entertainment. But the creator of the game seeks to tell us that violence is also pointless. These old games were pretty deep. How did this end up lying on the street? There's plenty of other street vendors who are collectors like me. One of them, Old Sinclair, he died last week. And you're not really allowed to own this stuff. If Corpsec catches you... Oh, I'm sorry about Mr. Sinclair. He was in the zone that fell into the sea last month. Oh Can't boy. be helped. You should keep your eye out for more of these. They may be scattered all over the city. You'll pay me for them? I sure will, as long as you keep it quiet. In fact, I can even show you this one if you like. It has a two-player mode. We can punch people in the street together. What? Maybe another time. Just the limbs are fine. I don't know. That didn't seem like a whole lot of money. Uh... Well, that just happened. I like how people are standing around watching. Holy cow, okay. So, buildings are collapsing into the streets. That one just did there. Where is this item that I need to pick up? Is it like above or below? See, this is a perfect example. Can't tell. Oh, there it is. Sorry, not a good example. I'm just dumb. I still haven't gotten my coffee, funny enough. And I'm not sure if I want to bring that item to Corpse Sec. I don't think I do. Look how much money I got. Try to use the speed boost on my um, my running. Didn't work. Welcome to Neo's Neo Cafe. I'm Neo. What can I get you? Um. Well, they say coffee, so coffee. That's good. Thanks for this, Neo. Have a spectacular day. Oof. All right, I got my coffee. Where's uh, where's my dog friend? I'm assuming he's gonna chime in. Hello, is that you? Camus, why are you calling me on the comm? I'm on a coffee break here. I have a reason. Is the reason that you don't like being alone? Yes, that is it. Is it okay? It's fine. I'm glad of the company. Why do you need the coffee? I've never worked night shift before, Camus. Coffee creates the illusion that I'm actually still awake. You wouldn't understand. You don't sleep. I sleep. I guess you go offline and recompile your source code. That's a bit like sleeping. I sleep. Okay, I heard you. Tell me what you found out about Cora. I found three different types of things about... Camus, this data analysis and retrieval, it's not that you can't do it, it's just it's a bit... dry. Why don't we let the generic automata take care of this part? You can go offline for a bit. Sleep! 
sure. Custom personality Camus offline. Generic automata reinstated. Righto. All right, Mr. Personality. Tell me what we know about Korra now. Three distinct data points of origin for Korra. Two, deprecated and accessible only via the underweb. Warning, your automata was detected accessing this information and your identity was compromised. What? Shit. Well, too late to do anything about it now. Tell me what you found. Give me the official data first. Cora is a term colloquially used by citizens of Nivalis to refer to the combination of AI and mechanical systems, which manage the logistical and maintenance systems operating throughout the city. I knew that much. Go on. As an anthropomorphism of a mercurial personality, it is unclear if Cora exhibits a form of sentience or sapience. <laughs> Best data suggests Korra is fundamentally inconceivable by human intelligence, existing just beyond the event horizon of biological minds. Not helpful at all. Why do people keep talking about Korra then? Day-to-day -day usage of Korra in conversation invokes the term in the same way one might talk about fate, luck, or serendipity. What? Example. I checked my balance, and I'm all out of credits. Cora knows where it all went. There are two more data points for Cora? Yes. One from City Archive in a defunct data pool called the Internet. <laughs> Another from a paper-based text called The Exegesis, a pseudo-historical book scanned and OCR'd 109,572.75 days ago. Read me the extract of the exit, whatever. Reigning atop a hierarchy of smaller automatons, VIs, androids, and machines, Korra is the last of the 12 founders. Complex AIs that formed an advisory council for the human rulers of the city. Why did the founders fail? Did their source code encounter insurmountable logical errors? Or, worst of all, did the Founders choose to abandon humanity? And if so, will Korra soon make that same choice? What's your confidence rating on the accuracy of this information? 11.40%. Higher than I thought. Does everyone in the city know this stuff but me? Korra is commonly discussed, appearing in up to 0.8% of all communication, but little substantive, verifiable data exists as to its nature. Read me the last data, the one from the internet. Korra, computer-operated recycling agent. That's it? I don't know how this relates to hackers or AI. No further data available. Make a copy of that exegesis thing to local storage, encrypted. If I get a data violation, I don't want to lose access. And bring Camus back online. Activating custom automata personality, Camus. Did you find out about Cora? More or less. I don't know what I was hoping for. Will you get food too? Not hungry. Hey Camus, have a look at the cafe menu. Do you see all the different types? If you drank coffee, what type would you order? Uh, donut coffee? God damn it, Camus. That's not really... Oh no. I said something dumb? Yes, you did. Actually, Camus, I think donut coffee sounds pretty great. So, I'm gonna talk to this falconer real quick before hey, jumping in. Hey, you interested in having your photo taken with this magnificent creature? Yes! He has 100 limbs. No. Wouldn't you like to know his name? He is Norman. Hi, Norman. Is he a real bird? Norman isn't a bird. He's a falcon. A real one? Well, he's not a hologram. But is he a real falcon or is he artificial? Ah, I understand your question now. Uh, you must think this is based on an animal. This is not. It is a unique creation. A falcon. I've seen falcons before. No, you must be mistaken. Perhaps you have seen a sparrow. They are very similar. You see, I specialize in chimeras. What are chimeras? 
Well, you know, there's a huge market for artificial animals, especially those that are rare or extinct. Chimeras are different. They are artificial animals which uh, never existed, created from the imagination of man. But I told you I've seen a real falcon. Eh? Where? Well, they're extinct now, I guess, but I saw them all the time when I was young. I'm from the Eastern Peninsula. They would circle around the farm in the summer, uh, until the big dust storms hit back in the year of the dragon. Listen, lady, I need you to do me a favor. Uh, okay. Please leave, and don't tell anyone that there are real falcons, huh? Eh? Sure, but why does it make any difference? When people know they're looking at something that once existed instead of something that never could, they get depressed. <laughs> and sad people don't spend money. Uh, fair enough. So, they said OCR earlier. Um, and I know not many people know what that is. That is, oh god. I'm trying to end the episode, guy. Driver 14 FC, are you out of your hava? Yeah. I was on a break. There are no breaks for me or for you. Have you seen the vids? No, why? More accidents in Sector 21. No, uh, Sector 23. Or is it 21? Oh, God, Bombings? guys. Not sure. This is bad for us. We've lost more drivers this week than in the past year. Everything okay, Control? I don't know, kid. I don't know. What's your real name? I'm tired of numbers. Rania. I'm going to look out for you, Rania. Things will get better after tonight. I promise. We just need to get through this one night. What's your name, Control? I'm not supposed to say. Goddamn. Is something going wrong over there? You sound... It's all wrong here. I just... Maybe I'll tell you after this job. Gotcha. Okay. What you got for me? In Gallows Row, there's an old escalator called the Ascension. Someone at the base wants to surrender a package of their belongings. Where does the escalator go? Trust me, Rania. This job will be much easier for you if you don't ask that question again. You're looking for a guy named Gil. Oh, and one more thing. Yeah? Enjoy your coffee. All I got is a bottle of sake stashed in my desk drawer. And tonight, I'm having a drink. If they're not happy with that, they can fucking fire me. Oh, Cheers. wow. Profanity. Control. Oops, I'm supposed to go back that way. All right, so they said OCR earlier. OCR stands for Optical Character Recognition. That, um... That's using a computer to read... Um, text on a page, like a physical page, uh, scanning it and reading it and transcribing it into digital text. Um, but anyways, uh, this episode's already way too long. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.